Hey everyone, it's Elise and you are watching the Ready to Stare channel where I bring you plus size, fashion, travel, and lifestyle content both on here and on my blog, readytostare.com. Today I am coming to you from sunny South Florida, Greater Fort Lauderdale to be specific, and I can't wait to tell you about every amazing thing that we found to do for LGBTQ travelers. South Florida and especially Fort Lauderdale is the best place to be when you are LGBTQ. And I can't wait to tell you all about it. Are you ready? Let's dive in. In the amazing Wilton Manors area, we have a one bedroom fab stays as well as a studio fab stays complete with this amazing pool, places to get some sun, and we couldn't ask for more. We have a full kitchen, a nice couch to lounge on after a long day, and there's three TVs between the two units, which makes it really easy to watch Hallmark Christmas movies, as you know I love. Our Fab Stays was perfectly located in Wilton Manors near all of the LGBTQ attractions. And to learn more about those LGBTQ attractions, who better to tell us than Mr. Fort Lauderdale himself, Richard Gray. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Welcome to Fort Lauderdale. It's Bam. amazing. It's fabulous, as you might say. Well, I hope so. Fort Lauderdale is what I would term uber gay. I we, love it. We are. It's uber. We are uh, a very inclusive, welcoming destination. We welcome everybody with warm, wide, welcoming arms. I and love um, it. I'm so excited because somebody told me that you are a virgin. Yep. I mean, a virgin to Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> That one I will I will say. Yes. I am Lauderdale. a Fort Lauderdale virgin. Woohoo! I've never been here. So can you give us a little overview about like what we can expect to see these next oh few days? Oh my god. First of all, you're gonna have a great time. So when I travel, I love to visit LGBTQ owned businesses. You're Mr. Fort Lauderdale, so where should we go that's LGBTQ owned in Fort Lauderdale? Well, besides everywhere, <laughs> um, how about um, the LGBT Plus Visitor Center. We're one of the very few destinations in the United States that has the LGBT Plus Visitor Center. Um, the Pride Center mm -hmm. is, I think, the seventh largest Pride Center in the world. You're gonna have an amazing experience if you go there. Uh -huh. And then you cannot beat the Stonewall Museum Library and Archives. Wow. I mean, it is amazing there. They have the largest collection in the United States. That's it's, amazing. Um, then you're going to go to loads of restaurants. I'm sure you'll maybe visit Hunters, um, yes. which is a great club. I've heard about um, that, so we're going to go there. I mean, there's a super duper um, French restaurant that I absolutely love called Le Patio. What about brunch? Is brunch really big here? Well, ah. Uh, because, I mean, I, you can't have a neighborhood without brunch, I feel Well, like. I would definitely check out Rosie's. Okay, Rosie's. Rosie's okay. is <laughs> very, very festive. Fabulous food mm -hmm. and fabulous drinks. Yes. And when I mean fabulous, I mean fabulous. And then I would say the water taxi. Okay. I think the water taxi, you know, is amazing. I mean, that is where you're going to see the 30, 40 million dollar homes. You're going to see yachts that are worth, you know, 50 million, 100 million. I mean, we just had the world's largest boat show here. Really? And I mean, we are the boating capital of the world. And then, you know, everybody, why do, everybody comes here because of the beach. the beach. I mean, our beach is just, that's what Fort Lauderdale's all about, really, mm -hmm. is our beach. Yeah. 23 miles of just amazing sand. 23. <laughs> You're just That's gonna, amazing! You I didn't know you had all these. I didn't know this was all here. Well, so, now you do. Now I do. 23 miles of beaches, a whole neighborhood, and it's a place for the whole LGBTQ community. So that is unheard of. And so we are here to find out what makes Fort Lauderdale the LGBTQ destination in the U.S. Well, yes. 
and you will certainly find out. All right, I'm ready. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> I would say this, we're very accommodating and welcoming. Our weather year round, obviously our weather brings all kinds of tourists, no matter who you are, gay, straight, you know, in between, undecided, whatever you want to, whatever you want to do. So our weather, I think, definitely brings those people. But I think for the, for the gay community, especially in Manor, is that, you know, we were one of the first cities to have an all gay uh, city council. And I just think we're more inclusive here, we're more accepting. I don't know, I think we're a laid back five. We're kind of a hippie town, but not. Okay, so people can come, be themselves, and have some good food, yeah. some good drinks. And you can be yeah. straight, you can be gay, you can be whatever. Perfect. Yeah. You're welcome here. You're looking at her. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful beaches, which I think is obviously a big grab. Um, you know, we're a great community. We're a welcoming community. There's a lot going on here on the drive. Um, if you haven't been to Fort Lauderdale, you have to come to Wilton Drive mm -hmm. here in Wilton Manors because we've got a selection of stores, bars, restaurants um, all along the drive. Everybody's friendly. It's a lot of fun. And great food. Great food. Really good food. And amazing yeah. shopping. So, yeah. you know, I always love to support local businesses when I travel. And this way, you can shop, support a local business, and support LGBTQ youth at the same time. Well, we're very, we're very open. We're very welcoming. Mm -hmm. We have been for decades, longer than other des other destinations. Mm -hmm. We did it when at first it wasn't as popular with a lot of the businesses and the hotels. Yeah. And they've come around and realized the economic impact mm -hmm. and the value of, of of our gay dollars. Yes. <laughs> Just the the experience of being uh, able to be around your own community and be around them in such a wonderful atmosphere and um, with this beautiful weather, the beautiful beaches we have, the mm -hmm. wonderful restaurants, um, and you know, the entertainment, everything is just right here. At the whole, South Florida is super welcoming and we are a huge melting pot of literally everything. Mm -hmm. We have pups. Leather pups that wear tails and masks, and we have all kinds of things. We have leather trans queens. We oh, have all it. kinds of things. And you are into something that you think is weird or different. Guess what? It's not weird. It might be different, but you're not alone. Somebody here in South Florida is totally into what you're also into. Oh, I love that so much. That is, it's just great to hear that everybody can really be themselves here. Literally, and you can walk down the street here in South Florida holding hands and almost every part of South Florida and not risk your life. Fort Lauderdale has everything that you would ever want to do. Um, it has the nightlife that you can go dancing if you want to, if you want to relax and have a wonderful dinner and sit down on the beach, you can. If you want to relax and meet up with friends, you can. Um, if you want to go shopping, you can. I mean, it really has everything that you would want to do. You want to take and, a boat rental down the intercoastal. Yeah, I mean. absolutely. If you want to go deep sea fishing, if you want to um, do any of the, the water activities that are available, you know, paddle boarding or kayaking, all of that's available intercoastal or on, on the beach itself. Mm -hmm. And so it really does have an opportunity for everyone to do anything that they would ever want to do. Hiking is even here. A lot of people don't realize how many trails that are in Fort Lauderdale. I didn't know that. That's great. Um, take advantage and of a lot of historical sites, you know, if you're more into the history uh, side of things, but it also happens in a in a very safe environment where people that even visit here um, are much more open and laid back and relaxed. So it's, it's a great vacation spot to get away where you can be comfortable in your own skin. Wilton Manors is the second gayest uh, city in the country uh -huh. per capita. Um, it's, it's, uh, sometimes you get lost in this little bubble and think, oh my God, everyone's gay and yeah. it's okay to <laughs> be uh, walking around as our authentic selves mm -hmm. and uh, feel safe on the streets. And, um, and so sometimes, you know, when you step out of the bubble, you go, oh yeah, I, I can't be as, you know, open as I may want to be because, mm -hmm. you know, there's going to be haters everywhere. Right. But um, South Florida is very, 
um, open, very diverse. Obviously, the, the good weather, mm -hmm. Sunshine State, so yes, yeah, the good so the good weather, and um, yeah, the uh, Wilton Manors is, is uh, maybe one of the gayest cities, probably the gayest city in the United States. Wow, I right? love that, yeah. So, and we're smack bang in the middle of Fort Lauderdale, mm -hmm. so Thanks. what more can you ask me? We have beach. <laughs> we have uh, sun, mm -hmm. we have beautiful space, um, also the food is, 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 is wonderful, we have different cultures yes. in here, so diversified, mm -hmm. so it's, it's, for Lauderdale it's, uh, it's, it's, it's sunny, mm -hmm. sunny, sunny for Lauderdale, sunny for Lauderdale. Yeah. The weather number one uh -huh. is, uh, is got to be up there. Right. Yeah. Plus, too, there's a little bit of everything for everyone. Mm -hmm. um, you've got the beach, and you've got the clubs, and you've got the restaurants, and you've got the Pride Center. And you, there's, there's just so much here to offer to our community. Embracive. Um, both, well, you have a lot of allies. Um, there's a lot of businesses that really just embrace the LGBT community, whether you're transgender, non binary, I mean, just black gays, I mean, it's just, it's just really an authentic place where you just can walk and just be free. And we have beaches where you're like, oh, this is the gay side of the beach. This is yeah. really kind of cool, <laughs> you know? The Wilton Manor's alone. You walk, you can walk down Wilton Manor, it's like free, you know, all the businesses that support. So it's a very welcoming, welcoming space. It's such, a, you can completely, in my opinion, you can take up great space as an LGBTQ person. I identify as a transgender male, for example. I, I feel pretty comfortable being out. The trans community down here is very large. Uh, the gay and lesbian community down here is very large. There are certain parts of town where I just, I even assume most people are LGBT or mm -hmm. at least very comfortable. Um, and so, you know, some of this comes with some privilege, but there are various neighborhoods here in South Florida where you can simply be very out and open and be yourself and, and find plenty of affirming businesses that give it back to the community mm -hmm. and self-sustain the community. And I think that's really important too, that there's really a neighborhood local feel, uh, that, you know, a community feel that we're all in this together and we have, you know, created our own businesses and our mm -hmm. own cultural institutions and it's a great place to live and to visit. Fort Lauderdale is a place where you can be yourself, be your true authentic self. There is something and some place for everyone in Fort Lauderdale. And as a member of the LGBTQ community, I really felt the love and I felt accepted and it was so nice to be surrounded by so many fellow LGBTQ folks and feel like I was really welcome. We had such an amazing time in Fort Lauderdale thanks to Fab's Days. If you want to see all of the best things to do in Fort Lauderdale and where you should stay, visit www.fabstays.com slash fab dash Lauderdale and that will give you a great overview of what to do, where to eat, and where to stay. Come celebrate you in South Florida.